Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy New Year's. Welcome back. Uh, I know I haven't posted a whole lot of content. I've been uh, contemplating on, on on what can I make, what can I put out. Uh, I've been wanting to make content, trust me. Uh, I haven't completely given up, but it's just been really hard. Uh, obviously, we ran into uh, truck issues and uh, pretty much based uh, an entire channel around one specific vehicle. Uh, when that vehicle is not racing, uh, what am I to do? Uh, I've had companies reach out, hey, can you make a video uh, with our product? Sure, I can do that, right? So there was always ways to kind of kind of get content out to y'all. Uh, but now I don't have the truck in my possession at all. So uh, some of y'all follow me on Instagram and my Facebook, stuff like that. So you kind of have an idea of what's going on. Uh, but you don't know entirely. But for those of you that don't, I'm going to sum everything up in this video. Uh, but I definitely want to say Happy New Year's. I hope everyone had a safe, happy New Year's. And uh, yeah, I wanted to put the video out yesterday. Uh, just kind of bring the new year in, kind of wrap everything up and just uh, thank everybody that supported us. I think we're going on like three years now uh, and, and we've came a long way. So we, we started with a flip up phone and uh yeah, started from the bottom and we're here. So, you know, we, we've progressed. And uh, I was going through through some old photos because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to throw some of these old photos in here. I was going through them and I'm like, damn, nobody told me how bad some of these photos were. Uh, but they're horrible. So uh, I, I see some of the photos like we've taken this year and some of the ones we took three years ago. And it's like, you know, we're making progress. So at least we're doing something. Uh, but yeah. Uh, it's kind of clickbait title here. Uh, it's just the way YouTube algorithm is. Uh, you, you have to put this this crazy crap in these titles. Uh, but I'm not going to make it uh, fully, you know, a clickbait title. Uh, I am going to fill y'all in on that. Uh, I got everything wrote down here right in this book. I'll pretty much explain the whole truck step by step. Everything we went through uh, to, to, get, uh, to get the truck and then to get to where we're at now. Uh, so yeah, let's jump right in. Today I was going through uh, receipts, I was going through time slips, I was going through all this stuff, and I kind of just made a, a brief thing and kind of broke Smurf truck down uh, all in a nutshell. It tells you what was done to the truck, how fast we went with those mods, and how much money was spent on this truck. So, like I said, I ordered a dealer built truck, 29 Ford F-150. Had dealer installed Whipple and oil pump gears, taxes, uh, all the extra bull crap I bought that I didn't need came out to $57,000. So for $57,000, we went to the drag strip. Uh, like the second day that I bought it, I drove it home from Ohio to Virginia. We were running 1190s, 12Os. I think my first couple slips were actually like more like 1250s. Uh, I didn't really know what mode to put it in and you know I was pulling the e-brake uh, not the e-brake sorry the e-locker I was doing all kinds of weird stuff didn't really know what I was doing so pretty much for 57 you were gonna go 1190s uh, now the new 2021s I know there's no tuning available uh, but a Whipple just a Whipple on the Whipple tune on a 2021 uh, I think guys are running like 1090s uh, so the newer trucks are faster for whatever reason. So from 1190s, we spent, let's just say 1200 on tuning. We bought some Ford's 22 inch wheels. Uh, and I drove the truck to Texas to have uh, Vast Fab do the suspension. So with those three mods, we were at 66,000 and we went 1090. So that's not too bad. We spent another nine thousand, really on looks uh, and stuff like that. But spent another nine thousand bucks, and we took a second off. That's pretty big. Uh, those are big mods, and if you're going to race, uh, all three of these are really going to be a must-have. Uh, doesn't necessarily need to be that company. Doesn't necessarily need to be that size. Uh, Ford's wheels uh, doesn't necessarily need to be that 
and doesn't necessarily need to be this company. But you will need tuning, a good wheel and tire, and good suspension. Uh, if you plan on doing any racing at all, uh, and I know you're thinking like, well, what if I'm not competitive, I just want a street truck. Okay, you still need good tuning to take advantage of the $10,000 blower that you put on. Uh, you still need a good wheel and tire so you're not bouncing all over the place or roasting the tires off. I know it's four-wheel drive, but you're still going to run into issues. And then what about suspension? Uh, I don't really like lowered trucks, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, if you're going to be racing, uh, you're going to need suspension. You're going to have to go lower. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do a, you know, a 3.5 or a 4.6, uh, but you're going to have to get the truck lower to the ground, and you're going to have to get a lot of the wheel hop out. So you're going to have to spend some money there. So, three months into owning Smurf truck, we blew the motor, right? And that shop rebuild cost me about 20,000 uh, bucks. Now there's a lot of receipts that were lost or I just quit counting. Um, and that rebuild included uh, a stock short block, a uh, new fuel system, E85, smaller pulley gauges, um, the builder wanted to switch out some suspension parts. I was on board with that. Uh, those later got replaced back with stuff that I already had on it. I uh, went all back to VastFab. Uh, VastFab has been very good to me. Ended up switching back to them. A lot of stuff in this rebuild, uh, which this is why I think this list is so neat. Because I can go through all this and I can say, okay, I put these parts on, ran this time. So it's pretty cool. I have a lot of data at the house. Uh, this is just a short little thing I put together for y'all uh, but it's really neat to look back and say wow I spent this much money on this I didn't do nothing I took this part off and bought this part and it went even slower I took that part off and bought this part and it went even slower so it's really neat just to look back and and look at all my uh, careless uh, yet very expensive mistakes so it's pretty cool to show this to y'all and I hope really hope you guys don't make these same mistakes after I show this to you so, all this stuff rebuilt uh, was another twenty thousand. Uh, that shop suggested I had switched tuners, so I did. That tuner wanted me to drive to Florida for Dino time, and I did. So, all said and done, we're in this truck for eighty-eight thousand five hundred bucks. I pick it up. I go right back to the drag strip uh, the following week. I guess and we went 1120s now hold up now because at 66,000 we were running 1090s and now we spent this much and we're running 1120s well we got to go back through tuning revisions we got to go back through we got to work bugs out uh, so yes I did take some steps backwards uh, we started going through tuning revisions uh, and it was a shortly after uh, we did get back to 1090s shortly after the tuning revisions, uh, the transmission, uh, well, we had to rebuild it, right? So we took it, it cost a little more than this with travel expenses. We took it to North Carolina, uh, Signature uh, Speed, they did a pretty good job rebuilding it. Transmission still holding up today. I uh, got the truck back, got back to the drag strip, and got back to 1090s. Uh, at this point... I was starting to get frustrated. Uh, here I am. I just spent another twenty some twenty five thousand dollars on this truck. Uh, we've switched to E eighty five. We went to a smaller pulley. We got more boost. Uh, I was told the transmission was slipping. We rebuilt the transmission. Uh, another twenty five thousand dollars later, and here we are. We're still running the same. 1090s that I was running when I was on 93 pump gas with like no mods at all like what's 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 going on uh, this this will break most people uh, I'll be honest with you that right there would break most people most people say okay 1090s it's all Scott uh, you're either gonna be happy with it or let's move on to another platform or uh, let's just do something because uh, throwing money at something ain't gonna work I'm stubborn uh, and I know that I'm not perfect I'm human I'm stubborn uh, so we threw more money at it let's check this out 
So I got fed up. I switched tuners again. Pretty much every time you switch tuners uh, for a boosted application, you're looking 1500 bucks. So we switched tuners again, and yep, 1400 bucks. I'm now in this truck for 94,000 bucks. I'm running 1070s. So that 1400 bucks got me two tenths of a second. No revisions available. Why? My fuel system has been tapped out per the tuner, right? And you're not gonna argue with your tuner. If your tuner says, this is all it's got, that's all it's got, right? And you can sit there and go back and forth, and trust me, I did. I said, what do you mean it's all it's got? Uh, I'm gonna throw his name out there, Jack Young. Uh, two years ago, he went 920. He ran a 920 in a two-wheel drive. A pretty simple build. Uh, he had a Gen 4 blower. Uh, he had a uh, probably a 10 or 20 percent underdrive, uh, and he had a smaller up uh, smaller upper. So he was probably around 20, maybe 22 pounds of boost. Uh, I'm only on about 16, maybe 14 pounds at this time. Uh, I'm like a second and a half. I mean, you ain't getting a second and a half like that. I had the same fuel system he had. I went back and forth with the tuner. They said, no, you don't. I said, I do. I know I do. I have it. You don't. So at this point, look, when a tuner tells you something, that's it. it it's in their hands, right? If they don't want to give you... Uh, more sauce or if they don't want to turn it up it's for it's it's for a reason I didn't fully understand that at the time I was frustrated I'm like look I got plenty of fuel on deck no you don't run I do you're not gonna argue with the tuner they know a lot more than you do uh, unless you are the tuner uh, and you have to get it fixed I said well what do you want me to do uh, you gotta buy this and this and this okay Cool. Talk to my people. They said, nah, you don't need all that crazy crap. Just do this. Okay, here we go. So, I did just that. And I switched tuners again. Uh, and we're still at 1070s. And revisions and revisions, we got the 1050s. Now, ran into fuel system, uh, fuel system issues. What would you know, right? Exactly what? The last tuner said so now I'm buying new pumps these pumps are about 15 1600 a piece I can't remember exactly uh, but now keep in mind I just had a brand new fuel system put in so now I'm switching the pumps out more money right but that's okay because we got another uh, we went 1050s we went 1040s right that's another thing you need to know uh, you don't have to do all this crazy stuff that I did. I was kind of a test dummy. Uh, but as you start to max a platform out, right? Obviously the F-150, uh, it's pretty impressive actually, but it's gonna max out before some of these other platforms. Uh, the F-150 can just simply, it, it, it can't go as fast as a uh, Lamborghini Huracan. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, so an F-150 may max out uh, back when I first got into this platform, we thought the max was, you, you know, a high nine second truck. We thought that was like, if you could get that, you were on top of the world. Uh, but you max it out. And as you start getting closer to maxing a platform out, it gets a lot more expensive. Right? So, it's pretty easy to take a 14 second truck and run 1250s. It's pretty simple. Uh, typically, just add boost. Uh, the F-150 is extremely impressive. The third gen Coyote uh, responds uh, great to boost and other mods. Uh, they just respond really good. But as you start to get closer to the maximum potential that platform has, it starts getting really expensive. So you may be looking at this piece of paper and be like, holy smokes, he spent 20,000 bucks to, to shave three tenths. That's what happens in the racing world. Uh, I didn't necessarily need to do it at this point of the build, uh, but it was coming regardless.
there, there's just no getting by it. Uh, if you think that's expensive, some of these guys with these Lamborghini Huracans, um, they take, I don't know what a Huracan runs, a, a, maybe a low 11, high 10. Uh, as they start going faster and as they're getting to the eights, man, they got $150,000 billet uh, blocks, uh, billet motors, uh, all billet internals. Uh, so, it, you know, maybe for them to go from an 890 to an 850, it might cost them 150,000 bucks. So this is nothing crazy, guys. So we'll get back into it. All right, so at 10, let's say 1040s, made revisions. Uh, we made changes. We bought new fuel pumps. We ended up getting this truck down to uh, about 10 O's, 10 20s consistently, 10 30s consistently. Uh, and we were sitting at $96,000. $96, uh, at that point, I knew to go any faster, uh, I was going to need uh, a drag pack, I guess, uh, a, a better drag pack, a lighter drag pack. So. I went ahead, went big money on a set of one-off uh, signature wheels, forged drag pack, uh, about 7,500 bucks, I'd say. Um, and I just threw in some other stuff in here that really should have been up there. Uh, retro badges, painted retro headlights, uh, the painted Cervini's hood. Uh, just went ahead and threw that into the build. It's not going to help you performance, but it is money spent. So at this point, we're 109000 uh, plus the twelve hundred, hundred and ten thousand dollar truck, and we're running somewhere around ten O's. Uh, I bought some more miscellaneous stuff for the fuel system, bed rug, tent, uh, just other stuff, twenty five hundred. And I'm sure I'm missing stuff. Uh, we had to re redo some things. We ran into some O2 sensor problems, some some more fuel issues. Uh, put a new battery in it. This uh, NGK plugs. I change plugs quite often. I'm probably on my my fifth, you know, fifth or sixth set. I don't know, um, but stuff like that is cheap, right? That's like the cheapest thing I can do to make sure the truck is running uh, at a top at all times. So that puts us around 113,000. Uh, and at this point, the truck has been sitting, and it does not run. It's just been sitting in my driveway. Uh, it's really now it's a hundred thirteen thousand dollar paperweight. So, which brings us to uh, what everybody wants to know, which is really gonna sum this up. Uh, why did I ship the truck off? You can skip all this bullshit that I went through, all this wasted money. Uh, imagine if I would've just bought an F-150 from whatever dealership, shipped it out to Midnight Performance, dropped off, you, you know, 40 to 60,000 bucks, and boom, I'd be there. I'd have exactly what I wanted for half the price. And I'll show y'all what half the price is. So here's my breakdown. Now I don't have any quotes for manual. We haven't talked about money. Uh, I did order the motor from RPG. It's a fully built, long block, ported heads, uh, billet rods, whole nine yards. Uh, that's gonna run you, uh, I just put rough numbers, 20K. Uh, it's a little more than that. Uh, the midnight transmission, like I said, I don't know. I haven't talked to manual about any kind of money. Uh, I'll put 3,500 on three twin kit, uh, 5k upgraded twin precision, 64, 66, another 5,000. And then I just made this number up completely off the top of my head, labor, tuning, uh, miscellaneous parts, uh, maybe at a double, I don't really know. Uh, but I just put 15,000 who knows and that would bring my total build over the past two and a half years to 163,000 What will it run? Well, I'm sure to hell It's gonna run a lot faster than 1030s. I can promise you that uh, I hope this video helps somebody whether you own one looking to buy one uh, Whatever it's gonna be. I hope it helped you uh, if you're looking for a shop to build your truck uh, there's plenty of good shops out there. I'm not talking bad about anybody who's helped me in the past uh, But I'm telling you right now look up the track records of these shops uh, Look up Anything you want to look up look up the fastest supercharged f-150 see who see who built it 
Look up uh, the fastest turbo F-150. See who built that. Look up the fastest hard tire F-150 and see who built that. Uh, look up the fastest four-door. See who built that. Uh, look some of these track records up. Because uh, a lot of these shops that are going to charge you 20, 30 grand to, to build your truck. Uh, Y'all might as well just cash at me. If you want my cash app, I'll put it right here. Boom. Just cash at me 30 grand. Uh, I'll kick you in the nuts and tell you your truck's slow. And uh, what we'll, does we'll this call it a day? But thank you, everyone. Uh, 2022, we're going to try to kick some ass. And uh, I'll try not to make any long, boring videos like this uh, and bring y'all some action. Probably the first quarter of 2022. It's going to be a while. So with uh, the flu virus bull crap. Uh, we got to wait on motors, we got to wait on turbos, we got to wait on parts. Uh, it's going to be worth it.